So I got a new camera. This is not the camera that I got. The camera that I got is the one that I'm using to film this. It's a GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I got this because it was, uh, there's a promotion running on GoPro where you can trade in an old camera and get $100 off your new camera. So I traded in a Canon PowerShot A540 which was a good little camera. It's just kind of old, six megapixel, did like 640 by 480 video. I actually used it to record a time lapse at one of my old workplaces, uh, video up there in the corner. And a big reason for upgrading from this camera to the GoPro Black 7, uh, Hero 7 Black, I guess that's what I should technically call it, is that this camera is stupid. When the battery gets low and cuts out, it corrupts the memory card and I've spent too much money recovering video. I've paid money twice to recover video that was corrupted from this stupid little camera. Video that you've seen. The other dumb thing is that I have a Galaxy S9 and you see how there's like a live preview going on here. Yeah, that's fun. The app for this stopped working on my Galaxy S9, so it's kind of useless now. When I first got this camera, I also got a cage with a head strap for it, and the head strap luckily has a standard GoPro mount, so I can put my current cage that's on the GoPro on this and put it on my head. So I have some work. Let's go do that work and see how it works. I don't know exactly what I'm going to need. But I have a log right PV, and I'm gonna take this shovel too. And we're back. It was refusing to record. Uh, I don't know if I just had to format the card or something because my old camera was messing it up, had messed up the card or what. It's just hard to get it up this hill. Once I get it up here, I can roll it out pretty easily. I need some more room. Roll those out of the way. There's that bug again. Yeah, get. Have I mentioned that I really want a tractor? Anybody from Kubota watching, I have like 250,000 views of tractor videos. Let's see if I can roll it up. Preferably something with a backhoe. I don't know, uh, something in the B size, but 
larger than the small bees. Something with a floating deck. You can see that's still joined together. That's part of the reason why this has a spike on the end. So now that's broken apart. to calculate the weight of these there this is green eastern white pine I think it's about I looked it up earlier today 55 pounds a cubic foot <clears throat> I don't know how many cubic feet these are I'll have to calculate real quick So you can see why I couldn't put the turbine here yet. <laughs> it was a massive tree. I measured them after they were cut down. Let's get these out of the way. Well, that one's underneath there. 110 feet. <clears throat> this is a 110 foot tall tree. <clears throat> get over there. Out of the way. <clears throat> this is just a, a brush pile, but really it's kind of a privacy screen from the road <sighs> for whatever it's worth. Are you loose now? Yeah, okay. You know, just as an example of how wide this is, that's three hand spans and my hand is 10 inches, approximately 10 inches, I'm not sure. It's a very big tree. I guess this one wants to roll up so we can accommodate that. It doesn't want to go over that bump. <clears throat> now it's just spinning in place. See this? Right here. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. 
okay. You gonna roll over that way, that's fine too. Save the biggest for last. Still going, good. Also, log ride, I guess, if you want to sponsor me. You guys can too. Because, you know, GoPros aren't cheap. This is turning out to be the easiest one so far. Knock on wood. Get underneath? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you the whole way over. There. There you go. I think I'm gonna wait to get that one out of there. It's not in the way. And for those wondering, we had some rain last night and today and previously this was dry and now it's flowing a little bit. This is just the culvert from the stream. And then my spring, I've pretty much just left hanging in the garden. We'll see what it's doing. Well, tomatoes are looking okay. They were a little bit dry and yellow before, but now they're looking pretty good. That's been on there for two days now. Um, I would say that's not 0.17 gallons per minute. What else we got in here? We have rhubarb that I just planted this year and it's been e eaten by beetles. This I think is a spaghetti squash. Looks like we have two to harvest. And I have some herbs in here. <clears throat> and this is a zucchini that looks like the ends started rotten before the rest of it was good. And then we have two pepper plants that are hardly doing anything. 
here's the one pepper that we've gotten. <laughs> I'm not much of a gardener yet. Tomatoes are doing good. Okay, I was editing the video for this and I noticed that it doesn't show a good representation of the slope here because of the uh, the lens shape. So GoPro offers multiple different shapes. First, I have it in uh, wide mode right now. And you can also do a linear, which removes all of the goofy curving. And then there's also a super wide mode where you can go like super GoPro version of video. And well, I'm not a very active person like that, um, but I do want it to look professional. So now I'm gonna switch to uh, linear mode. Now linear mode, it has removed some of the field of view. So it's a smaller picture now, but it should show things, I don't know, more professionally, I feel. For example, I'm here at the turbine site and I was rolling these up out. And maybe in the other view, it's not really evident, but there's about a four foot difference from there down to there in height. So it's quite a hill that I was trying to roll these 400 pound logs up. And I, I hope that this linear view uh, does a better representation of showing things like that. Another thing that I didn't like about the wide mode is it makes it everything look zoomed out. So like if I'm standing here and I'm working at arm's length doing something with water, then I need you guys to be closer so you're not like straining your eyes to see what's happening right here. Whereas the wide mode, it's like zoomed out twice as much. So I think from now on, I'm going to use linear mode. And I guess, uh, a big reason why I bought the GoPro is because I'm gonna be working up in the spring there um, sometime real soon, putting in uh, a catchment weir. And I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm doing with my hands in that tight space because I can't get my big camera in that tight space with you guys. So you guys wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. So I need, uh, on head camera to show what I'm doing there. And some of you might say that getting a Hero 7 Black is a little, little bit extravagant for my YouTube channel, but it's it was easily purchased with only one month's worth of revenue from my channel. And it's tax deductible because I only use it for my YouTube channel. The only problem is that with this linear mode, I have to double check what I'm looking at is what's on the camera. Cause you know, my eyes might look down there or up there and you guys might not be seeing the same thing. But here's my collection we are at the bottom here. You can see it's dry. And we can see here that it's wet. A lot of the water is coming down over here. And you can see the pen stock there, the small one that I have. And so I can collect water up here into that bucket, or even if I had to, I could collect out from underneath the culvert there at the other end. And that'd probably be the most reliable way to collect water from this hill hillside if I don't need any height to the water, like if it's the middle of summer and I need some water for the garden, then I can collect the water there too. Oh, I should also state that the water that's coming out of here is from the rest of the hillside. I do have the spring, so there's water flowing through that pipe there too, running down to my garden. So I could have more water than I'm actually using out of the spring there. I also realized in editing the, editing this video that I glossed over some of the herbs that we have. We have basil, oregano, is that thyme? I'm not sure, cilantro, 
and uh, chives, I'm pretty sure. And then we also have here, I had potatoes there, I dug them up. Well, some of them met the shovel. Uh, but I got about three and a half gallons, or three gallons of potatoes. And then this is my strawberry patch, which I put a cage over. But that's not how strawberries are supposed to grow. I'm doing it wrong. So I need to fix that. So overall, I think this is a worthwhile investment in my YouTube channel. If you're interested in buying a GoPro, then check out, of course I have links in the description, but those are Amazon and you can't get the trade up program discount with an old camera. For that, you have to go straight to gopro.com. And I'll have a link for that in the description too. I'm not getting sponsored by any of this. I buy all of my equipment with my own money. I have no sponsors for anything.